The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, he is gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it fourfold. Oh, Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to say what was lost. This is the good news of our salvation. Saint Luke is a great artist, literary artist that he is, and in a few lines create a scene which is captivating, but also unraveling a great mystery. And he does it in today's gospel. A few passages before this, a man came up to Jesus and said, What must I do to gain eternal life? And Jesus said, Keep the commandments. And the man said, I have always kept the commandments. And Jesus looked at him and could see his integrity, his authenticity. He was seeking something, true meaning in this life. And Jesus said, if you want to be perfect, go sell what you have, give to the poor, and come and be my disciple, my follower. And the man hung his head and went off because he was wealthy. In other words, for St. Luke in that passage, possessions took precedence over Jesus. But with Zacchaeus, we see just the opposite, where Jesus brings such joy that this wealthy man who was corrupt he admits that he extorted from people, working with the enemy, the Romans, to collect taxes for the, those who were pagans and worshipped false gods. 
He saw that Jesus was more important than the wealth he had acquired through illegal means or whatever means. And that is the message that St. Luke wants us to experience. What do we have here? An understanding of our own Christian experience. It is rooted not in keeping commandments. And far more important than that is the reason we keep the commandments. And that is because we love Jesus because we have experienced that he loves us. We are not lovable so that Jesus loves us. Or Jesus rather does not love us because we are lovable. We are lovable because Jesus loves us. And that's what we see in the example of Zacchaeus. He was filled with joy when Jesus said, I have to stay in your house. In the previous passage that we referred to, the young man came up to Jesus. Here Jesus is going to a man who was wayward, who was on the wrong path, who was ostracized and hated by the members of his own community. But this was the person Jesus was sent to save. It is expressed also in the parable of the lost sheep, where Jesus left the 99, or the shepherd, symbolizing Jesus, left the 99 to go after the lost sheep. And then he placed it on his shoulder and celebrated. I can well imagine that Jesus celebrated with Zacchaeus and was filled with joy too at the conversion, the reconciliation of this man who had a good heart but needed to experience the presence of God in his life through the person of Jesus. When that happened, everything else becomes unimportant are certainly relevant. Now that's the message that St. Luke wanted his community in his day to understand and appreciate. And the Lord wants us to appreciate the same thing right now. So we should, in all honesty, integrity, and transparency, examine our own priorities. What really comes first in our lives? If we are followers of Jesus, experience the joy of his presence, then we are like Zacchaeus, who had a lot of possessions, was wealthy, but that is not important anymore, because Jesus went out of his way to stay at his house. Jesus is doing the same with us today.